yelling at me in the comment for stealing the thumbnails. I wasn't trying to steal no thumbnails. It was a mistake. Talk to him. Talk to him. They, they can't resist your face. They can't resist your face. Make, make, make him stop. Make him stop. Oh, the internet's so mean. <laughs> I don't give a damn. <laughs> Here are the top five decks of the 2023 format. Let's dive on into it, shall we? What's up everybody? Your favorite man with an ultra ball has written a book. It's called My Very Happy Life and it details my journey living with my rare cancer diagnosis known as Von Hippel-Lindau disease. I want the book to inspire you and encourage you to reach for your dreams and the best part is half of all profits are going to support the VHL Alliance in order to help raise awareness on VHL. Link to my book is in the description. I hope you enjoy it. Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most and the hardest, Avery LR32 here and destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain off that subscribe button so we can keep on climbing even higher the 1100 ladder ladies and gentlemen my cancer meds are kicking in and we are feeling so good oh we feel loosey-goosey like a like a certain word that i don't think i can say on youtube but gives herself about to all the dudes in church <laughs> so yeah i'm not gonna say that on youtube all jokes aside really quick that little intro there uh i do apologize for not giving credit where credit is due for thumbnails i'm gonna make sure i avoid that crap in the future because uh my ass is gonna be crucified and put out in the doghouse if it happens so if i do end up using other people's thumbnails in the future i'm always going to give credit where credit is due uh i just wanted to address that because you know I'm a man of my word. I'm going to be honest with y'all. And this is for entertainment value because uh, whew, my butthole is still sore from getting destroyed by uh, a few people. So sorry about that, Dalzo or Galzo, however you say your name. Uh, <laughs> go go check them out. I think it's D-A-L-Z-O. So anyway, top five decks of the format as I pull them up here. So at number five, I've got Sword Soul. So here's what's awesome about Sword Soul. You can literally take a build from like two months ago that topped an event change a few tech cards around and like you're done like that's your build the deck especially once we get maze of memories here in the tcg in march and we get that baron de fleur reprint the deck is going to be so fucking cheap like i'm talking like 150 bucks max that you're going to have to spend to get a main side and extra deck you know the deck is very fair in the sense of like the opening board that it can get you know setting a blackout having excuse me a chen ying and a baron is really good you know you end up with that monster negate the omni negate and then of course the blackout to pop too just the only thing you got to watch out for is that you auto lose to lava golem because you know that thing's obviously not a worm so hopefully you have a way to get a worm out to your field so at least the blackout is live to be able to pop too but outside of that i mean if you're willing to take the pepsi challenge to possibly i guess sort of auto lose to a lava golem uh then there is that you know, that you have to deal with. At the same time, I would think that that'd be equivalent to, you know, dealing with something like Cash Tira, where most Cash Tira players, well, I shouldn't say most, some, even like the few that are at my locals are like, you know, if they have the Nibiru, they have the Nibiru. The problem is that Nibiru just fucking kills you. So, you know, it, it's something that you have to keep in mind. But the fact that like, if you're trying to play a, a meta deck, especially one that's in the top five, these are in no particular order, by the way, you know, being able to have a budget deck to a degree like Sword Soul, aka Sword Swole, like is fantastic. Like the you literally just play three of everything, one to two blackout and two desires, and you're done. And then like you just change some things around in the side and extra, you know, to maybe fit to your playstyle or for like some tech cards for this format. So like if you want something cheap, like that's that's a really great way to go. Now, speaking of cheap, if you got a little bit more money to spend, uh at number four. I have Labyrinth. You know, if you got in early with Labyrinth, which we've talked about on the channel before with my every deck, every Yu-Gi-Oh deck is budget video, if you get in on these things early, you get rewarded as hell. Like, Labyrinth, when it first got revealed in Tactical Masters, was really not that expensive. Like, it was kind of cool what it did, but it just didn't have the gas to get there. Now, with Big Welcome Labyrinth, like, whoa, it's another Welcome Labyrinth trap. It can pop a card if you got the field spell up. Like, it's, it's a really good deck, and it's basically Elder Lich 2.0 if you think about it. You know, you play like, what, nine monsters, if that? You play maybe, excuse me, one Eradicator, depending on your build, and then, like, what, six fucking spells, and you play like 35,000 traps? Like, it's, it's fantastic. Um, it was funny because uh, one of my buddies at Locals uh, this past Saturday was like, Avery, what do you think of Labyrinth? And I was like, you know what? I hate the fucking deck, but... I respect it for what it is. It's very good. You know, 
the fact that you can get the whole deck main side and extra for, I would argue, especially if you got in early, like 150 to 200 bucks, if you're getting in just now, 200 to 250, depending on like what prices and values and homie hookups that you're able to get. Like that's really not bad. And you got to ask yourself like, oh, you know, if you're saying, oh, Avery, 250 bucks is expensive. Would you rather spend 250 bucks on a top five meta deck that is Eldritch 2.0, especially for those of you out there who like trap decks or <laughs> with shipping and taxes, depending on your area, data rates may apply. You know what I mean? Uh, you could pay over a thousand dollars for cash Tira. <laughs> so you take your pick, sugar boo boo. Um, I would be going with the cheaper route if I couldn't afford cash Tira, which even though the deck is like over, basically over a thousand dollars, I didn't spend over a thousand dollars. I spent maybe half that, if that. Um, so, you know, keep that in mind for if you want to see, the, if you want to play these meta decks that you see coming up over the horizon, you want to get in early with these things. And Labyrinth is a great example of that. And it's also a fantastic trap deck if you like that kind of deck. At number three, I have Flunderweez, Flunderweez, Flunder, Flunder, Flunderweez. Um, this deck is still good. I've been seeing people experimenting with like the water statue. Uh, I've even some people seen some players experimenting with like the earth statue and uh, I think even the fire statue. Um, the problem with Flunder is obviously because Barrier Statue is banned, right? So you can't search it off of Robina. Um, Stormwinds, I argue that Stormwinds is really what held the deck together because like I've said before in previous videos, just ending on an M pin is not scary. You just summon your shit in defense and get their effects. What made it scary was the fact that having an M pin and a statue on the board was so disgusting, especially when you have that backed up by a magnificent map or a dreaming town, which now I've seen other builds, most Flunder builds playing like Scary Sea for the special summon negation, gives the opponent three normal summons or sets, but then you also have Snow to be able to flip stuff face down and give you extra summons, things like that. Um, now the deck has to basically rely on going first, getting, you know, map, dreaming town, and M pin out. And like hoping that that's enough you know obviously it can lose to things like feather duster like they have to activate their dreaming town preemptively go for like an apex avion or a snow and like go from there so like if you're able to run like back row hate for the deck and just out their board like you are sitting really well um cash tira's I feel has like a pretty decent matchup against it, depending on how you open in a, depending on your build. You know, if you're playing the Brave package, you can kind of, you know, play around things a little bit by using your Brave engine, you know, bounce something with Draco back, get out the Griffin to negate something if they let you get that far, depending on their build or depending on their board uh, first turn. Um, but it's still something I feel that needs to be respected. And I think with more testing, more experimentation, I think we'll see things, you know, start to come around uh, for Flunder. I do think it is a top five. I think it should be respected because if players aren't prepared for it, it's going to, you know, hit you in the nuts for uh, a deck that just wants a normal summon on your turn. So at number two, I have a Sprite and by extension, like all Sprite variants, like Sprite is so consistent. Um... You know, the, the fact that, yes, they lost Elf, but now they have Gigantic Champion Sargas. They have Sprite Sprint. Like, there's a lot of different ways that you could play Sprite. You can go with the Sprite Runic route. You can go with Sprite Tri Brigade. I've seen people even trying Sprite Purely, which doesn't sound very good, but whatever. Um, it's the fact that you can, right? Um, Sprite is still very fantastic. It's, it's so consistent. Like, I would argue it's one of the more consistent decks of this format. And so, you know, if the deck's able to go first and, like, the board can't be broken, like, that's that's really good. Um, I wouldn't really say it's super cheap because depending on builds, you may have to be, you know, spending a decent amount of money. I think blues are, like, 35 to 40 a piece. So take that for what you will. That's basically, like, 120 for three cards, not even counting anything else. Um, but, I mean, Sprite is a very good deck. So, and then finally, at number one, my favorite deck. Ah, uh, my one of my new favorite decks of all time. Cash money, baby. Cash Tira, cash money. Oh, we just letting it fly. This deck is the best deck in the fucking room, hands down. If you don't open the Nibiru, you lose. You don't open the Lava Golem, you lose. You don't have enough hand traps to stop me from popping off, you lose. Um, there are so many different ways to build Cash Tira, whether it's your main decking Iblis, main decking Lances, which you should be to out the Imperm or even Droplets or, you know, whatever. Um, you can be playing it in like Tira Limit Cash Tira, which isn't really all that good. Uh, you could be playing like Sprite Cash Tira I've been seeing. You could be playing Sword Soul Cash Tira. Like Cash Tira is so generically good. You could throw it in almost any of these top decks, minus like Flunder and Labyrinth really. Um, but I mean, the, the deck's just fantastic. You know, banishing cards on top of your deck with Tira Limit Cash Tira, Diabolsis and Rise Heart. Having a macro on the board with a Rise Heart, locking out your zones with Shangra Era, uh, AKA Shangra La, which I wish they would've just kept that name. But it, it's the best deck in the room, hands down. If you're going into a big event, 
you got to know what Cash Tira does. you got to know that this deck is just absolute disgusting. And it's just walking around the event venue letting its nuts hang. Like, it, it's just disgusting. Um, this deck needs to be hit. This deck is totally unfair. It pisses people off. I love it because it feels like I'm playing with cheat codes. <laughs> so, you know, it. I mean, what did you expect the number one to be? Um, I've seen some people talking about Trap Tricks. I still feel like that's a rogue deck at best. I really don't feel like the deck's all that good. Um, I made the joke at Locals this past Saturday that if someone top eights a YCS or a regional, I'll pay that person a thousand dollars because I don't think that can ever fucking happen. Um, but you know what? To each their own. So guys, this is my top five. Please let me know what you think down in the comments below. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hopefully I wasn't too all over the place. My cancer meds have me high as a kite. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below and I will see you in the next video.